Alright, so this is going to be my uh, second attempt at recording this. Uh, I'm just kind of messing around with Tower Unite because I heard that the event was still going on for a few more days. I thought it was going to be over the second, but then someone came in clutching my comments and was like, Yo, no, it goes till the 10th. And I went, okay then, let's do it. Oh wait, Plane Wars is happening? Let's do it. Plane Wars, oh I have like two minutes of Plane Wars, let's just do it. I'm just going to screw around to the plaza for the most part, maybe do bowling, mini games, trivia, nothing crazy. Uh, I just want to chill out and just kind of see what's happening here. Um, yeah, no, nothing crazy. I just hit like over a million units again, so I can really like maybe start buying some stuff to build up my condos again. I'm not sure when I'll do that, but hey, I got money saved up. I just want to chill on this. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of re uh, redoing this video because I had like a lot of background noise in my last attempts. And, uh, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling like what I was doing in the video, so I went, screw it, we're gonna, we're gonna redo it. <laughs> Why not? And we're just gonna kind of, like, mess around. I just spent way more money than, uh, I really should have. I actually just bought a Sega Saturn, and a few things to go alongside it so I can, like, start streaming and recording Saturn stuff. Uh, because that is what I 100% want to do. I've always wanted a Sega Saturn. Well, I say always. I mean, I've wanted one for like 15 years now, but I've just like never pulled the trigger on getting one. And of course, now when I uh, pull the trigger on getting one, it is so expensive. Like, we're talking beyond expensive to uh, do Saturn stuff now. Like, a copy of Sa uh, Saturn Bomberman is like 300 bucks, 400 bucks for the US version. Or like, f I think 30 or 40 for the Japanese version. But like, Saturn's really, really pricey. <laughs> Uh, so I was like, you know what, I should just get into this now while the console itself isn't super expensive and just see where it goes. And just finally, uh, finally enjoyed, like, the one console I was never able to do. Because, uh, Saturn emulation isn't good. It's never really been good. You can do it. Ain't ideal, so I really want to do stuff on legit hardware. I'll pretty much buy whatever games I can buy legit. Uh, but beyond that, I'll probably just end up playing backups and stuff. And by backups, I mean, uh, not as legit copies, but what can you do? Because, like, some of the games I want are, like, close to a thousand dollars now. Or a few hundred. And it's like, what? <laughs> like, but why, though? Um, so it is a, it is a big Saturn problem. It's a big retro gaming problem in general, like, where retro stuff is stupid expensive. And when I say stupid expensive, I mean, like, too freaking expensive. If someone wants to do Typing Derby, I'll join them. I'll probably fail miserably, but I'll do it. Why not? But yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't get, like, why retro stuff is so expensive. Because, uh, back in my day, you could, like, go to GameStop, and you could, or EB Games, actually, at the time. Uh, you could just go to GameStop or EB Games, and you could, like, buy, like, any NES game you wanted for like five bucks if that sorry I gotta like kind of like focus as I type this yeah I get like really quiet like in a uh, typing derby then after oh well Oh god, I still have a lot of uh, left to go. How fast does this person type? Holy crap! But again, I was like really like focused, uh, talking about like my retro stuff. But yeah, retro stuff used to be like really cheap. It really wasn't that much. Like the most you'd spend like on a retro game is like 15, 20 bucks. There were, like, some, like, really obscure ones that would cost a lot of money. Like, like you know, like, not obscure, but, like, really tough ones to find, like, way back, like, in, you know, mid-2000s. Like, Panzer Dragoon Saga, like, on Saturn was always very expensive. And obviously, like, your, like, Saturn, uh, no, rather, your, uh, your Nintendo World Championships and stuff like that were always super expensive. But, for the most part, any game you wanted was, like, cheap as fuck. And now it's, like, a few hundred. It's like, Why? Like, why is a copy of Mario Kart 64, like, 60 bucks? It doesn't make sense. 
But uh, that's uh, just the way of the land now, unfortunately. Double or nothing, why not? Let's do it. Damn. Let's see if I can get like a, a 5x. Double or nothing takes literally no skill. You just press a button and hope it doubles. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited to do uh, Saturn stuff. Cash out of 5x? Yeah. Cool. Um... Damn. Um, yeah, I always want to do Saturn, like, because Saturn has, like, a really nice fighter library. Um, and, like, a really nice shmup library, stuff like that. I always wanted to do, uh, the Saturn version of Resident Evil. Like, that always looked really cool to me, so I'm, like, very excited to hook this up. And, like, get going with that. I got, like, a decent-looking, like, HDMI solution for it, so I can capture it. Can I get, like, an X6? Um, but yeah... That should be fun. I've already kind of, like, lost track of what I was talking about. But that's, like, the excitement of my day. Like, I really couldn't afford to do that, but the price on the stuff I got was, like, really good. So I went, screw it. I'll worry about it later. Do I dare go for X7? Damn. Rigged. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, that, that was my excitement. My excitement involved that and eating the last half of a sandwich I ordered, which was a uh, steak barbecue sandwich from a uh, local sandwich shop I love. So, uh, let's do some trivia. Um, <laughs> that's been, like, my entire day. I streamed, I played Ghostbusters Remastered, which is essentially Ghostbusters 3. Uh, like, all the original actors and writers and stuff, like, pretty much had, a, like, a hand in it. Um, it's a remaster of the game that came out on 360 and PS3. I got it for like five bucks in the Epic sale because uh, the original version on PC kind of ran like shit these days. Like it just wasn't quite right. But um, yeah, I ended up just buying old. It's a Yasi. I don't even know what it is. Um, is it really that? Holy crap. Um. I've never played Yandere Simulator. I'm gonna guess someone probably named Kakona. Nope. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? I already forget. I'm gonna get all these wrong, to be honest. I don't know any of these so far. I should know the Yoshi one, but I didn't. I figured bullfighting would be it. Um, yeah, I already... I forget what I was talking about. My apologies. Wow, these trivia questions are hard right now for me. You know, the main character in the Flash TV series... I honestly don't even know the Flash's name. I'm assuming it's Bart Allen. It could be Barry Allen. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know comic book stuff too well. Um. Ooh, ooh, I've actually watched this. I don't remember what her name is. Mom Mamako sounds familiar. Hajime. No, Hajime. No, it is Mamako. God damn it. I watched that. Oh, uh, PHT Flopper was in Ascension. Um, I actually knew that one. But, um, I remember watching Ghost Stories English dub because I actually put it on my tablet. It was sitting there for like a year. Then I lost my internet for about three days. Just something happened to the wires, uh, like four or five years ago. And all I had to do to entertain myself was that. Um,. Wow, this is like the worst trivia I've ever done. Was this September? Nope. Oh well, I think Snowball Battle soon. But yeah, I had no internet for like a few days, so I was like, I'll watch this Ghost Stories finally, I guess. Why not? 
Uh, so I did that. I had a really good hearty laugh, but like by the time I got to like episode 10, episode 11, I was like, I hate everything. And I'm not even like halfway done. I hate this. But it was it was it was like an interesting thing for those who never saw the ghost uh, ghost stories English dub or don't know about it. Um, basically, ghost stories was an anime that came out uh, in Japan. It failed miserably, and I forget which company got the rights to it to make the dub in America. But they were like, just keep the general story the same, but just say whatever the fuck you want. So they redid all the characters, and it was basically like all ad libbed, and it was so funny because the, it was just over exaggerated everything. None of it made sense. I'm just waiting for Snowball Battle. Um, it was like if... If you ever watched, like, the, um... If you ever watched Whose Lines It Anyway, and you watch, like, the, uh, the TV segment, like, where they'll watch a, uh, a TV show or, like, something on mute, and they'll dub over it in, like, real time, basically. That was... Uh, that was basically ghost stories. They just ad-libbed an entire series and just had the light plot kind of there. It was so weird, but, like, it's really worth kind of, like, watching just to see it, to believe it. But yeah, so what have I covered? I covered the Saturn. Oh, I was talking about Ghostbusters before, yeah. Now I can go back to that, because I remembered I was talking about it. Yeah, but Ghostbusters was, uh, really not so great on PC anymore until the remaster came out. But, like, even now in the remaster, uh, it's very buggy. And, like, while I think it's a great game and I love the story and I love the fact that it's more or less Ghostbusters, uh... Ghostbusters 3, in spirit, uh, I'm just bored playing it, right? Like, I recognize it's a very good game. Like, it is actually a really, really good game. By every stretch of the imagination, it's good. Um, but I just get bored. I don't know why. Because I think it's doing a lot for me, but, like, I just... The general gameplay loop is just eh. I'm like, cool. I actually got someone in the tiny potion. Or abusing the tiny potion. I'm kind of happy about that. I didn't think I would. But yeah, like, it, it's a cool game, though. Like, you gotta put down your ghost traps. You gotta capture all the ghosts. You gotta kind of track down where people are. Find hidden objects. You get to go inside, you know, the old firehouse. Like, it's good. And for, like, five bucks in the epic sale, it was totally worth that. But, uh, I just kept running into, like, little bugs and glitches. I had to keep reloading checkpoints because things weren't spawning in. Um, I think the game doesn't, like, really tell you or kind of give you the info that you need, like, more often than not. Like, I kind of just, like, spend a lot of the time lost. But, you know, it is what it is. Who is this person right now? Who is this madman that's just getting quad feeds? There we go. There we go. But yeah, really cool game. I do enjoy it. Uh, but I don't know if I'm actually going to finish it, because I'm, like, halfway done with it. And, like I said, like, I'm just really bored playing it, and, like, even though I think it's good and I, like, I recommend it, it's just not a game that's, like, clicking with me on the gameplay front. The visual front, and, like, the audio front, and the story front, and all that, like, it's definitely clicking. But the, just the general gameplay loop's just not doing it for me. I was so tired. Uh, like, after, like, three hours of it. And I'm like, this game's really good. But, like, I just can't keep my eyes open playing it, so I had to swap off it and play something else. Uh, when I streamed earlier tonight. Which, you know, is what it is. Not every game's always gonna, you know, be an instant click and an instant winner. Wow, I'm doing good here. Holy crap. I'm, like, going, like, Eye of the Tiger focus now. <laughs> cool. Eight seconds. Can I get, like, anything else here? Nope. I'll take that, though. Cool. Balloon shoe in eight minutes. All right. Holiday coin, too. Sweet. And my jetpack uh, my jetpack bugged again. Okay. Yeah, it was a good game, but just it just didn't click. 
But I might finish it up on my stream. I'm not sure. I'm, like, undecided. It's just, like, one of those games, like, where I'm streaming it, right? And, like, sometimes, like, you know, like, when you're... When, you like, you stream or, like, you make videos or something, like, you kind of know, like, when you're doing something that's actually kind of clicking and it's working, or you know it's just not working at all. My commentary for Ghostbusters was, like, silent. I just couldn't, like, interject, like, with anything. Because I didn't know what to, like, really say or comment on. Like, there just wasn't much to talk about. Like, at all. Like, it just, it was kind of, like, playing itself, basically. It was weird. Like, I feel like I could kind of, like, you know, talk about it, like, critique, like, its general gameplay pattern if I wanted to. And, like, if I wanted to make, like, a video about it. And do, like, a voice over for it. But, like, playing it in the moment and trying to discuss it. I don't think I really could. It was just, there was just something off about it for, uh, off about it to me. Let's do some virus before we wrap up today, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't know what it was. Okay. Yeah, I might just try a different game later. I'm really, like, interested in trying out, um... What is the ping? Ping's fine for me, right? 74, yeah, it should be fine. Um... I'm kind of interested in trying out uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles. I've always wanted to try it out. Or maybe, like, Ninja Gaiden Sigma or something. I need to, like, play, like, a game that's gonna... Like, I could probably fit, like, in two or three games before, uh, I get my Saturn, so I'm gonna try and, like, find, like, two or three, like, really good quality games to do before I go, like, on a retro binge for, like, a month or two. That's the plan. So we shall see. Why did not- oh, it did throw my, um... TNT. This feels, like, absurdly laggy right now. Like, absurdly laggy. But I'll try to find stuff to play. I kind of want to play Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. I really, really want to do, um... Hello. Uh... I really want to do my Midnight Club. I want to play this game called ski -Doo, which is, like, uh, jet, um, snowmobile racing. That looks really fun. Also, I want to stream. I want to stream Infamous 2. I want to do this game, uh, Gundam Crossfire, which apparently is garbage, but I would love to take a look at it. I bought the PS4 God of War, and I also bought, um, Horizon Zero Dawn that I kind of want to check out. I got a whole bunch of games in the Epic sale. So we'll see. A lot of different games I would love to do. So I'll probably find, like, two or three that'll kind of work. Over the next couple of days before I dive into, like, a bunch of Saturn stuff. I'm not sure what Saturn stuff I'm going to do right away, though. Because, like, a lot of the Saturn stuff is probably going to be, like, one-off material. That's, like, the only thing. Saturn's, like, very arcade kind of game heavy and stuff like that. It's not throwing the TNT. I'm pressing four click. It's just not doing it. It's like on a delay. I freaking swear. What the hell? I think I actually even pulled out my like my adrenaline, not the TNT that time. It's so weird. Um, but whatever. But yeah, like a lot of the Saturn stuff is gonna be kind of like one-offs. Like I can't imagine myself doing a ton of streams like Pocket Fighters or Saturn Bomberman, or um, just stuff like that. Radiant Silver Gun. We'll see. I really want to play through D and like the Panzer Dragoon games and stuff though. So hopefully I can make that work. And like those would be kind of like long form games. Like multi day sort of games. Yeah, there's like a wicked delay. If I shoot and I press reload, like there's like a probably like a half second delay. That's odd. I'm not used to that. My ping's fine. 
Okay. Is what it is. The old camping spot on this map used to be, like, up here. Okay, we got 50 seconds. I'm going to use my adrenaline. Why not? They are not breaking through here at the moment. That ain't happening. But if one does manage it, oof. It's going to become chaos down here really quick if someone does. Oh, crap. It's bound to become chaos. Oh, yeah. But we good. We Gucci. <laughs> Alright. Good stuff. For the love of fuck, do not make me the first infected here. Please no. This is this is the least thing I wanted to have happen. Did you see that? Like he, sh I went behind the box. He shot, then it hit me. Like I swear, like it's a half second delay. Like I swear it is right now. Oh well, what can you do? It's Tower Unite. Triple kill. Oh my god. <laughs> that was quick. This is your last chance. I just nailed that. Holy crap. Beautiful. Last round. Let's do it. So I'll take that holiday coin. Thank you very much. Alright. So I really want to get that achievement just for getting like the three zombie kills with one thing in TNT. Because I don't have that yet. How I wish they did, like, achievement tracking way before achievements went up. Because I swear I'd probably have, like, 150 of these. If not more. But, yeah, whatever. I don't, like, care about achievements that much. But, like, I always hate, like, talking about this game. And I'm like, yeah, I've played this game a bunch. And then I get, like, my achievement, like, played your first round of Virus. And it's, like... I swear I have, but these achievement things, they weren't always here. You gotta believe me. Easy, why not? Oh god, I won. <laughs> that was gonna be the moment I died, but I said nah. Holy crap. Alright. Okay. I'm probably gonna call it there though. This commentary has been like very rambly, very off base, I know. It's been kind of like all over the place. But look, I'm tired. This is like my second attempt at recording it. It's like 2 p.m. 
almost 2 p.m. I'm going to probably just finish recording this, upload it right away, and just kind of call it. But it is what it is. I got to talk about my Saturn. I got to talk about Ghostbusters. The fact that I had half of a uh, steak barbecue sandwich, which made me quite happy. The fact that I'm a Tower Millionaire again. We did, uh, we did a snowball battle. Did some trivia. Sat in the casino. Played Double or Nothing for like three seconds. Did like a pretty, you know, decent game of a uh, virus. Well, half a game. And I even almost got my Jingle Bell gun. I'm really close to that Jingle Bell gun. Which honestly and truly is like the last thing I really want uh, in this event. Like I'll still try and go for everything else that I can possibly get if I play enough. I just want that Jingle Bell gun. Like I really want it. Like bad. So you know what? Balloon Shoe has 50 seconds. Usually, if you play a mini game, you'll get a you'll get like a, a holiday coin by the end. So why not? Let's get it. Damn, that was like a good streak too. My aim is all off base though. I've been trying to, like, see, like, how high I can get my combos and stuff now. To see if I get, like, way better scores or not. And honestly, I can't even tell. I got, like, 8k last time, which was cool. Like, for a full one, but I'm not sure if it's, like, any better or not. Like, my old, like, typical sort of score. No holiday coin. I got ripped off. What? How are you not going to give me my holiday coin? I did like a third of a balloon shoot. I feel scammed. Oh well, I will be sure to play this game again before the event's over to get that last coin I need to get the last item I really want. But I really gotta call it. I'm exhausted. And this commentary, you know, again, a little bit jumbled. But what can you do? It was a little fun little uh, Tower Unite session, and I'm pretty content with that. So uh, thank you all for watching, and toodles, y'all.